Hey guys, Rashad here. I think I want to make a reaction to one of Dimash's videos. I'm in the mood for a boy voice right now. And uh, let's check it out. This is Adagio.
Wow. Oh, man. That last note really gave me those shivers. Oh, I can't show up properly. I want to show... See that? Oh, man. That really gave me the shivers. That was crazy. Thank you for sending me that. I'm going to go through the others in the list. I just... That name just popped out. Wow. So I was kind of writing my comments this time instead of uh, writing the numbers. I don't know. I just thought to do it that way this time. So you kind of already got my... <clears throat> my ideas there there was one more thing what that I really liked he showed when he hit his limit when he sang that make make note I need to write the time down. find it it's the part where it goes make me believe something like that i thought it was later anyway my bad my bad i'll write the times next time so i can s say it i just want to say it. like he pulls the mic back when he says it. it goes make make me believe and it's like um i like it because he's showing that he's actually trying his absolute hardest he's to hit his highest notes um and he's paying attention to the quality of his notes because he's putting on the, pulling the mic back when he feels like he's not quite maybe hitting it like he wants to hit it like he, so what some singers do is they pull the mic back so it doesn't sound as a so if he's making an error or in case he makes an error while he's singing you don't hear it in the same volume as the times when he's not making an error when he's right so that it sounds overall that performance sounds more balanced like more even in the way that <clears throat> more beautiful because it's more you're hearing the correct stuff more so it's like it's it's a trick singers do sometimes you notice they pull the mic away or sometimes they pull it away just because they're about to go so loud that they want the the microphone levels to be even <clears throat> yeah usually a mix of one of those two reasons <laughs> that was an incredible performance i kind of wrote, wrote everything down there already you can just look as i was writing it was really stunning the different sounds he was creating really hit me I think you could tell by my reaction I really enjoyed that I thought I, I did it a bit differently there maybe next time I'll go back to writing the times because I actually like to hear the my favorite parts again so I might do that next time instead of doing it this way um, so I'll just go quickly over them maybe um, piano so he was playing piano I love that it shows musicianship he can play an ac he can play an accent <laughs> he can play an instrument as well a sing uh, accent uh, he had a little bit of an accent and it came out. A lot of people told me already that he has a strong accent and that he's working to get it better and it's getting better. And that's great. I understand. It's very, he can already sing in many languages. So it's difficult to learn the accents of every language accurately. His falsetto, when he started, when he was playing piano and he jumped up to his falsetto, that was incredible. His vibrato is absolutely beautiful, really good. He sounds very operatic. He had great showmanship. And then he sounded really operatic a bit later and he started adding like the those more kind of tones like the actual opera singers whereas here he was prob probably more operatic as you guys have taught me <laughs> uh, he went super high with a really high volume and vibrato which is incredibly hard to do I don't know what note he did but I know it was ridiculous uh, <clears throat> And he added runs to those high notes, which was crazy. He did a super long note at one one point. 
they sound like there's some slight pitch correction on this performance but it sounds very light it's like they haven't put it on a high setting they've put it on a very low setting <clears throat> uh, just because they probably want it to sound really really perfect I'm not sure it sounds like they might have done it on particular notes not on the performance as a whole but I'm not 100% sure but again it doesn't take away from his ability because even with pitch correction you can't make someone sound incredible they just end up sounding slightly robotic it, it doesn't take yeah it doesn't not taken away from his voice I love his voice is incredible with or without it it's just an it's like an effect that they use and he just owns the stage at one point he's like putting his head on the stage and he's you know he's like on the floor ridiculous his belt was really really high and impressive it's to the point where it doesn't sound like he was using falsetto it sounds like he was belting it was really impressive all right guys i'm rashad hayek rbcinglessons.com i'll see you guys next time bye